Welcome to the next edition of Fabric 5 with Data on Wheels. I'm Steve Hughes, the Data on Wheels founder. Today, we're going to talk about why you would choose Data Warehouse over Lake House in Fabric. Let's get going. This is a debate that's coming up more and more as we discuss what the best use of the leg or the items are in fabric, depending on what you're trying to do. While fabric is still in GA at the time of this recording, sorry, still in preview at the time of this recording, we have two different architectures for storage models that we need to talk about. Before we talk about what's different, let's talk about what's the same. A table in both locations is a delta table optimized with uh, optimized for storage in fabric and can be easily consumed with Power BI and anything else it can read Parquet Delta files. So let's be clear, under the covers, storage is the same. Now let's talk about what's different. In the lake house, we have something called a SQL endpoint. We need to handle that first. So while the lake house is built typically with notebooks or data flow gen 2 will also generate data into the lake house the resulting data is in a delta table we'll focus on tables today but it also handles raw storage and raw files a lot of manipulation happens in notebooks in most cases it's considered considered an engineering exercise understand some python be able to get through it all and interact with the data that way so that's really important Frankly, it is the native language, effectively, of the lake house. So it is designed to handle that. It runs on Spark Compute. A SQL endpoint will let you read data from that using SQL functionality, but it is based on Spark. So let's be clear. Now let's jump to the data warehouse. Data warehouse is also SQL based, but it is T-SQL based. And it is designed to, hand, to run on the best of what we've learned from SQL Server. It actually will allow you to create tables and store procedures, views, and all those kind of typical SQL Server objects that you've created in the past. Maybe not everything's there yet, but that's the goal. If you love your management studio and you love your T-SQL, you're gonna love the data warehouse because effectively you won't notice what happened. It's still reading and writing from the Delta tables using functionality that's been in SQL Server since 2012. But it lets you actually, you know, operate against the data very cleanly. But the big difference on the SQL side is it allows you to write data using SQL as well. So when you're looking at this from an environment standpoint, Microsoft has done something very cool in my opinion. It allows those of those individuals who've been working in data lakes, love Spark, love notebooks, really an effective tooling to continue doing what they've been doing in the lake house architecture. In previous videos, we've talked about Valiant architecture, for example, the lake house could be gold. Why? Because it still handles SQL as a way to interact with the data, but you don't have to interact with it that way, but it is available. Whereas the data warehouse allows you to actually manipulate data. You may find it valuable to actually move the data warehouse back in your medallion architecture and use data warehouse and silver as well. In particular, if your team is heavily invested in T-SQL and is working through a ramp up period, it's not quite ready to handle the complexity in their view of Spark based on what they know already. So what does this help us know? One, we can understand that Microsoft has given us the best of both worlds. The interaction with the data in both environments will be relatively seamless and the same. Pick the method that best suits your team. Two, we have the opportunity to get better in both areas. So if you have a heavy SQL team who is not very good at Spark, they can lean on their strengths, but continue to learn new things and learn new notebooks, learn how to handle things in Python, 
and continue to use that to expand their knowledge and become better at what they do. This also allows people who are very good at Spark leverage the strength of SQL whenever they need to in order to present that data more to their end users, who typically are more savvy with SQL than they ever will be with Spark. So as you look at this moving forward, make the decision based on your team, your needs, and the best way for you to move forward with Fabric, as Fabric itself is a great tool and is going to enhance your data state quite a bit. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. If you like this and any other videos, we ask that you like us, share, and subscribe. Look forward to continuing this conversation. Throw things in the comments if you got them. Have a great day.